Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's assembly. I'm Mark, and Bethany is going to be along in a minute to tell us a Bible story, lead us in a prayer, and a song a little bit later. Now, I hope you're all enjoying being back at school and being able to see your friends and your teachers. It was getting a little bit boring being stuck at home, wasn't it? Now we're getting quite close to Easter, aren't we? Are you getting excited yet? Are you looking forward to it? Do you remember a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about Lent and that was all about waiting for Easter, wasn't it? And I wonder, did you give anything up for Lent? How are you doing with that? I wonder how Robert's doing giving up chocolate. I'm sure he's doing great, but I bet he's getting really excited about Easter and being able to eat chocolate again. Aren't you? So the Bible story that Bethany is going to tell us in a moment is all about people getting excited as well. It's about the time when Jesus came to Jerusalem and everybody celebrated and there was a really big procession. Bethany, why don't you tell us a little bit more? Jesus was preparing for something important to happen. He was with his friends. He called out to them. Let's go to Jerusalem. I have something important to do there. His friend shrugged. They replied. If it's important to you, we're caught. Of course we'll come. Wherever you go, we'll follow. So off they went. Soon they could see the city of Jerusalem from a nearby hillside. Jesus looked out towards the city. Let's have a parade. Jesus' friends were surprised. Why a parade? Why are we making this special entrance? Jesus couldn't reply because he was too busy giving out instructions. I want two of you to borrow a donkey. If you tell the owner I need it, he will understand. The two friends went to get the donkey. Luckily, the donkey seemed friendly and the owner was happy for them to borrow him. When their friends returned with the donkey, Jesus rode on it down the hill with his friends and close behind. The friends began cheering. Hooray for Jesus! Jesus is king! The closer they got to the city gate, the more people joined them, until there was quite a crowd marching along and joining the parade. The friends and the people in the crowd took their coat to put down in front of the donkey and waved palm branches in the air off of the trees. Hooray! It's Jesus, the teacher! It's Jesus, the healer! There were hundreds of people gathered now, and everyone was happy. Well, almost everyone. Some of the religious teachers didn't like Jesus. They were jealous because the ordinary people were so fond of him. So when they saw the parade, they frowned. They called out, Wait, just a minute. You can't have a parade here. Tell your friends to be quiet, Jesus. But Jesus laughed. Can't you see? There's so much happiness here that even if I could make the people be quiet, the stones in the street would jump up and shout for joy. <laughs> Thanks, Bethany. Jesus sure was popular, wasn't he? The people were so excited because they thought Jesus had come to be their king. And he had, but not in the way that they expected. You see, at that time, Israel, which is the country that Jerusalem's in, was occupied by the Romans and the Romans ruled over the Israelites. They'd invaded the country and the people weren't free to live like they wanted to. Now, the people of Jerusalem 
thought that Jesus was coming as a king to save them from their invading enemies, the Romans, because in the past, there had been lots of prophecies that predicted that a messiah, and a messiah means king or savior, would come to save the people of Israel. And they thought that Jesus was this Messiah, and he was going to rescue them from the hands of the Romans. But Jesus hadn't come to be that sort of king. He had come to save them, but not in the way that they expected. Do you remember how Jesus entered Jerusalem? That's right. He was riding on a donkey and a donkey was seen as the lowest form of transport. A king would ride a great horse or a chariot to demonstrate their power. But Jesus came humbly and peacefully on the back of a donkey. And this was a sign of the sort of king that he was going to be. You see, the kingdom that Jesus had come to restore was not an earthly kingdom. It was the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is based on God's love for us and his desire to have a relationship with us. And we'll see how Jesus did that over the next couple of weeks. But throughout Jesus' life, as we've seen in our assemblies, Jesus talked about and demonstrated peace and love. He set an example for how we should live our lives, not arguing or fighting, but putting others first and serving others. On many occasions, Jesus said things like, the first shall be last, and that anyone who wanted to be great in the kingdom of heaven would first have to become a servant. So in a moment, Bethany is going to lead us in a prayer. But before she does that, I wonder if we can take some time to think about how we can demonstrate love and we can help bring peace. Maybe it could be something that you do for your mum or dad, something nice that's helpful. Or maybe you decide not to argue with your brother or sister or even your friends. Maybe there's something that you could do for your teachers to help them. Let's just take a moment to think about that. Interesting. So, I hope you've been able to think of something and I hope that you're going to try and put that into practice. Bethany, why don't you lead us in a prayer now to help us? So we're going to pray now, and if you'd like to make this prayer your own, you can say Amen with me at the end. So God, thank you that you came to bring peace into this world. Thank you that when we spend time with you, Jesus, we can have joy. And we ask that we can show this peace and joy to the people around us this week. Amen.
Words can say.